you think? And we got a couple of requests to do a completely offensive piece of music. This next song pisses off some people. So if you're the kind of person who's overly sensitive or easily offended or terminally cool or maybe a born-again Christian, you might want to consider this your perfect opportunity to get the fuck out of this bar. Because this one pisses off some people. Oh, I like when he does that again. Take song comes off of this here CD. It's called Greatest Hits. If you look real close at the cover, you'll see a picture of my third ex-wife. Her name is Greta. She's the one don't have her shirt on. That's why this CD is called Greta's Tits. Now, aren't you glad you speak English as a first language? <laughs> yeah, that shit don't work in anything but French and English. Only two languages in the world where one word can mean more than one thing. That's why it's called double entendre. Yeah. Did you know that if you lived in Moscow and your name was Dick, it would not be funny? <laughs> Ain't that sad? Ain't you glad you speak English? It's a wonderful language. The song was also the inspiration for the number one country song in the nation back a while ago. I'll explain it to you as we go along. We got bimbos and bozos and bikers and boozers. We get daytime drunks and we get three-time losers. We get the room full of rednecks and we get these fancy dressed fellas and we get busloads of blue hairs and dirt bags and sailors. But it's just another day in this tourist town bar. I sit up here on the stage picking on this old guitar. Kind of feeling like a fool, you know, because I'm wishing I was a star. Shit, I'm just an alcohol powered jukebox in this tourist town bar. We get girls that like girls. We get guys that like guys. We get European folks in them stupid vacation disguises. We get these fancy dressed yuppies all just trying to get robbed, you know. Jesus Christ, I really love this damn job. It's just another day in this tourist town bar. I sit up here all day staring at this damn jar. I'm feeling like a fool because I'm and I was a star Or maybe I'd rather just keep drinking for a living In this old tourist town bar We get nerds from New England And fags fresh from Philly We get assholes from Cleveland And toothless hillbillies We get these porker New Yorkers in there expensive new clothes and we get shirtless beer bellies and that guy's wearing pantyhose. It's just another day in this tourist town bar. I sit up here all day staring at this damn jar. Feeling like a fool because I'm kind of wishing I was a star. I sure am getting tired of playing them goddamn Jimmy Buffett songs in his old tourist town bar. And then sometimes I think about maybe changing my mind and just say fuck all this shit and just leave this behind. Right about then, some drunk buys me my 17th beer and I say, oh, what the hell, I may as well stay right here. It's just another day in this tourist town bar. I sit up here all day staring at this damn jar. I'm feeling like a fool, you know, because I'm kind of wishing I was a star. I'd rather just grow old and die in this old tourist town bar. Now 
Now some of you may have noticed a striking similarity between this song and a tune recently made popular by a fella named Toby Keith. If so, please remember this song is over 26 years old. And I don't care whether he calls it paraphrasing or poetic license or parody. Boys and girls, it's still plagiarism and that fat son of a bitch stole my song. But it's okay, because you see, we got us a real good law firm working on it. Litigation is pending as we speak. Hell, I'd have gladly sold him this song for $500. As it is, it looks like old Toby Keith's going to buy me a new house. Big old house. Big old, big old party. He's going to buy me a new boat. Big old boat. He's gonna buy me a new truck, he's gonna buy my wife a new car, he's gonna buy all my kids new cars. He's gonna put the rest of my children through fucking Harvard. He's gonna make it possible for this lazy old good-for-nothing drunk from Key West, Florida to live a long and happy and comfortable retirement. Yes, he is. So in consideration of all this wonderful shit that Toby Keith's gonna do for me, don't you think I really ought to do a verse just for him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Toby. Folks is always asking me why I bother writing all these songs if I'm just gonna waste my life away drinking in this bar all day long. They say I should head up to Nashville and I can get some big star to do them. I figure I'll just wait till they steal it. And then I'll just sue them. It's just another day in this tourist town bar. I sit up here all day staring at this damn jar. I'm feeling like a fool and I'm kind of wishing I was a star. Just keep drinking for a living in his old tourist town bar. We get bimbos and bozos and bikers and boozers. We get daytime drunks and we get three time losers. And it's just another day in this tourist town bar. Thank you, music lovers. Thank you, one and all. It's time for us to get out of here. Stick around. They got happy hour getting ready to kick off in a matter of moments. Turn this into the best evening of the rest of your lives. Anybody interested in the recordings, remember the price is negotiable. If you haven't taken advantage of anybody all day, please let me be the first, but do it quick because I got a haul ass. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.